Always remember to wash your hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Remember to wipe surfaces often. Only leave home if you are healthy. And wear a fabric mask in public covering your mouth and nose. Don't touch your eyes, mouth or nose with unwashed hands. And cough or sneeze into your elbow or use a tissue. Keep a distance of 1.5 meters between you and other people. Let's all work together to stay safe. Molo Sipe, and thank you for that beautiful rendition of Izikotis Yolelezelwa. Please tell me, is Izikotis Yolelezelwa the Zulu translation of every valley shall be exalted? Ngozi Masi, yes. This music is composed by George Frederick Handel, and the Zulu text is by Dr. Sam Chabalala. This is an aria from Handel's Oratorio, The Messiah. An oratorio is often a work from a religious event or a text from the Bible, and that is the case for this piece. The text of this aria comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 4. Isaiah is preparing the broken world for what is to come. He uses nature to convey a message that the poor and low in status will be raised up, the proud and self-righteous will be humbled, and the dishonest will change their ways to those of simplicity and integrity. A light tenor with the agility to tackle the melismatic passages with ease is the correct voice type for this song. Melismas are runs like and so on. Let's look at the score to try and break it down into sections to assist preparation. Each section in this area presents the text in its entirety and contains two distinct musical ideas. The first idea presents the text from Izigo di Zio Lelezelwa, which is presented from bar 10 to bar 26. The second is from Ukonde Ngong, Konge, from bar 27 to bar 41. This piece is also full of a word painting with the words Ukonde Ngong, Zio Lelezelwa, and Ulolongwe Konge all cleverly depicted through the music. In bar 10, we see Izigodi being sung low in the music. And then we experience the exalting through the ascending melismatic phrase from bar 15 to bar 19. Again, in bar 24 to bar 26, the composer indicates the higher mountains being made low shaping the mountains using an ascending arpeggio and dropping them with a descending one. In this regard, a singer should take care of the vocal placement. Instead of going, you just prepare your breath and go, to add to that, kulolongwe konge must be legato e sostenuto, smooth and sustained, from bar 36 to bar 39. In this particular moment, the accompaniment complements the vocal line so as to give that lightness of the tone. From bar 53, we get what is called ritornello, a return of the first theme typical in the Baroque arias. This marking means the singer can add a cadenza, which is an optional flourish which can either be improvised or more frequently rehearsed in advance. Either way, you get to choose the notes here, not handle. It's a place for your own artistic input. As a final tip, I will say that breath management is key for good phrasing. 
Singers will have to plan their breathing very carefully in this area in order to execute the song easily. I wish you the best of luck. Learners and conductors, we wish you all the best for your preparation in this area. Coming up next, more of Cape Town Opera's best performers helping you to sing like a pro.